I hope everyone, I hope everyone made it through. Got to get my gloves back on. Woo -hoo -hoo. I hope everyone made it through this severe cold front that came through. It's just absolutely horrendous. Temperatures below zero, actual temperatures, chill temperatures 20, 30, 40, 50 below, depending on where you live. A little snow in places, like here in Oklahoma. A lot of snow in places, like Indiana and Ohio and Michigan and way up on the East Coast. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When it's cold like this, where are some old, much overlooked places that you might be able to catch some huge, gigantic fish? I'm talking about huge, gigantic fish. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. My goodness, we have had some cold weather sweep through the center part of the United States heading on up east, and it's still cold here in Oklahoma. It's still cold here in Oklahoma. December 25, Christmas Day. Christmas Day, the day we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And we're going to celebrate that where the Christmas story is found, Luke 2, 11. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. My gosh, that's the most important word in the world, a Savior, a Savior. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is, who is Christ the Lord. Here's what I wrote about that in the Catch a Better Life book. If you're not subscribed to the Catch a Better Life channel, please go in there on YouTube and subscribe to that. Almost 23,000 people there now. Some of the finest people in the world. They'll pray for you. They'll, they'll, they'll hurt with you when you have things go bad. And they'll rejoice with you when things go well. Get on that channel. Catch a Better Life with Jimmy Houston on YouTube. Uh, not many folks are fishing Christmas Day. Oh, I guarantee you. I know I'm not that mad at it would be out there today. It's a day set aside by most of us as a family day for celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. We have home-cooked meals. We exchange gifts. We just have a glorious, glorious time together. The last week of the year is still strong fishing. Let me tell you, you can still catch them. My fishing buddy, Josh Jones, caught his personal best, biggest, a couple of days after Christmas. A couple of days after Christmas. Many miss out on this great time period to catch really giant fish. You could catch big ones. And just to tell you what's happened here lately, you know, after Josh and I went pheasant hunting uh, December 1 and 2 with some firefighter buddies of ours from Broken Arrow uh, in Oklahoma, Josh went down to guide 10 days on Lake OH Ivy. He's caught a 1 over 13, 1 over 14, one, and 1 over 15 pounds. I think the biggest like 15, 10 in the last few days right here before Christmas. The last few days right here before Christmas. One day he caught like 11 bass over 8 pounds. And 11 or 12, something like that. And like 6 double digit fish with a, with a 13 something, a 14 something. That particular day, that particular day. So it's still a great time to go out and catch fish. And listen to me, we have pretty weather forecast this next week. Uh, I think next Thursday is going to be close to 65 degrees in southern Oklahoma. Most folks at the time Jesus was born missed out on a key part of today's verse. Just like many people miss out on catching big fish this time of the year. The key part of today's verse is there is born to you a Savior. A Savior. Many today still miss this most important fact. Jesus left heaven to save a dying world. Jesus Christ left heaven to save a dying world. God loved us so much. He loves me so much. He loves you so much that he sent J Jesus to save you. He sent Jesus to save me. He sent Jesus to save your family. As you eat more than you should today, and as you open more gifts than you probably deserve, I know I'd get every year more dirt gifts than I deserve, remember Jesus. Just remember Jesus. When you say your Christmas meal, give thanks to Jesus because Jesus is your Savior. Jesus is my Savior. Here's our tip for today. We're talking about some overlooked places. This is where we fish a lot this time of the year, January, February, March. Smaller city lakes produce giant bass this time of the year. Smaller city lakes, and one of the things that's happened here in Oklahoma is they put a lot of Florida bass in some of the smaller city lakes. So don't overlook those little small city lakes for giant fish. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. I am about to freeze my puppy off. <laughs> Remember, I sure do love you. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. I really love you.